Film transcends borders, cultures, and languages. But this is a short film about a singular world, a world not free flowing and round, but square, restricted by edges. Over the last six months, I filmed snapshots from the front window of my flat. What follows are a series of personal observations. I love this magnificent tree. It often attracts my attention away from the television, especially as the branches and leaves fly in the wind. Here's my wife leaving the flat. We have a tradition of waving to each other till one of us is out of sight. As well as the tree, the abandoned church opposite attracts lots of birds. I particularly like this seagull, a conqueror of religion. Over the summer, we suspected someone living in the basement of the church. Here's Joe and I, the neighbour from the bottom flat. Don't go over to investigate. There were in fact two men living there, Jamal and Gianni. They were both originally from Iran. Jamal has lived in the area for the last eight years before he lost his job as a butcher. It's so damp down there. This is not a particularly warm flat. It has its issues. But when you realise someone's living in a damp basement, just yards away from where you sit in comfort with a fire and hot food and drink, it changes everything. We called a local homeless charity, who came out to speak with Jamal and Gianni, but nothing ever came of it. Somehow, their spirits remained high. Gianni left after a few weeks. This prompted Jamal to take ownership of the space, which he proudly showed me one afternoon. He had found a bed and a flat table from somewhere, and seemed happy. After the torrential night of rain, I went to check on Jamal. He left as the place was flooded. I used to bump into him on a daily basis. But not anymore. I hope he's okay. Three Christmas trees. Two are from our flat. And one belongs to John Fay on the ground floor. I like to see the varying levels of decay as the months go by. Strangely reassuring. The most annoying day of the year whilst living in this flat. The rock and roll marathon. Always on a Sunday. Always early. Always the terrible music. I know a rat lives in this little garage. I encountered them one night when putting the bins out. He ran off and squeezed through that tiny hole. There's an African man, Alphonse, who claims to own this garage. He was cleaning it out one night in the early hours. I made him a cup of tea as it was winter and freezing cold. He was nice and we chatted a while. We just tried to get him to join his church. I haven't seen him since. No other rat. I should mention that it's not just me behind this camera. My cat Catherine is forever present. My co-director. To film, I must move her beloved bench. It's a bit 
bench which he sits on and watches the world go by every day or every night. I suppose this is a film about her perspective of the world as much as mine.